Time now to bring in Sun columnist and occasional Sun News guest host, Anthony Fury, onto the battleground for a look at all the things we've been talking about on today's show, especially the Manning Conference he is here in studio. One of the most interesting things, Anthony, from the Manning Conference is some of the data that they've been presenting, the, the, the polling. Take us through what we've been able to learn. Right. This is called the Manning Barometer. This okay. is the fourth year they've been doing it, and it comes out to coincide with the conference. There's no activist angle to it. It's just gauging the political sensibilities of Canadians, seeing what what, what the truth is, what mm -hmm. people are feeling. It's a very, very messy results, which you know doesn't surprise me too much because we're just primarily humans before we're party members. Most people right. aren't members of a party. Uh, the first, one of the first questions I want to bring up is if there were an election held tomorrow. That's a typical one we see in yeah. polls. How would you vote? Now, in this, people said 36% conservatives. That was the win, and that's about enough to whether or not they'd keep a majority. Probably not, but they'd still win, have a minority government. Okay, interesting. Liberals second, NDP third, but. But same people asked in this survey, what is your political ideology? So what do you what do you sympathize with the most in terms of in terms of your perspectives? And 26 percent of uh, and what you're seeing on the screen right now, left, right, center, the center comes it comes out at pretty much half, 47 percent of Canadians. So you're centrists but you're also going to elect a conservative government. Interesting. Well, what party do you actually affiliate the most with? This is where we're, we're really throwing a spanner into the works. 26% of people said Liberal Party. That's hmm. the highest number. 25% said Conservative, so margin of error, it's pretty negligible, but it's still tied. So there's this weird idea where conservatives, they say, yeah, yeah, I'm a Liberal and I'm definitely a centrist, but I'm going to vote for the Conservative Party. So what's going on here? And I think it really brings into play the question of what does it mean to be the center in Canada. Perhaps it means, what does it mean to be a conservative in Canada? And sure. you know, the Conservative Party has the label, it has the uh, ideology, so to speak, but if centrist voters are, are voting conservative, it means the conservatives are appealing to them and maybe they're not as right wing as perhaps they think that they are. Exactly, one or the other. There's definitely the argument to be made that the Conservatives are, like many parties do, governed from the centre. Once yeah. they've gotten into power, there's definitely a lot of disaffected Conservatives in terms of they're, they're not cutting budgets fast enough or people who would like to see more socially conservative policy. They're not seeing that. At the same time, you do still have the left fear-mongering that there's, that there's extreme uh, right-wing mania that's just around the corner. It's always just around the corner. But, but th these numbers show that Canadians are, are actually more tempered to that and, and they don't buy the mm. fear mongering and maybe the, the, the center has shifted a bit to the right incremental conservatism a, a term coined by Tom Flanagan but fear mongered by Michael Ignatieff watch out Harper's doing this it's going to ruin the country but that's where we are now well, let me get your take just very very quickly Martin Cochon today attacked um, attacked the NDP essentially saying that we can't cooperate with them because they're members of the socialist international <laughs> that was a that's a pretty novel approach that I've never heard a liberal take before yeah the NDP NDP are members of the NDP. Martin Kashan is a member of, I don't know what he's a member of. He's an old guard liberal. I'm not exactly, I've never been clear what he's doing in that race. It seems strange. Finally, they've been saying we want to put the Kretsch and Martin divide behind us. I think they actually finally have. They're going to have some weird Trudeau something else divide that they're going to work with in decades ahead. But Kashan, I guess, is just saying, hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm not yesterday's man. I don't buy it. I think he is. And we're seeing that here <laughs> by him, uh, him throwing these, I, I, I'd call it a curveball. It's negligible. All right, Anthony, thank you. My pleasure. And folks, remember, Anthony Fury will be hosting Battleground all next week. You can catch the show Monday to Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Sun News Network. So, Anthony, we will see you then. I look forward to it.